So here's the thing. What you have to understand is that standing in front of mirror and saying, I can do it, I can do it is not going to help you. Delaying your presentations and ignoring your presentations and delegating your presentations to somebody else, that's not going to help you. Practicing for two hours, three hours in the wrong way is not going to help you. What is going to help you is understanding PPP, PP. <laughs> what is PPP, PP? Write this down. Proper preparation prevents poor, I'll say painful <laughs> presentations. Okay. Proper preparation prevents painful presentations. What I see is a lot of people have great knowledge, great experience. I work with a lot of IT professionals, project managers, senior leaders, vice presidents of companies, CEOs, entrepreneurs, you know, chartered accountants. All of them are subject matter experts who come to my program. Um, those of the people that I really, really select become because I'm very, very selective about who I work with. Biggest challenge I see is they have a lot of information. They have a lot of knowledge and experience but they don't know how to communicate that value in front of other people, especially when they're speaking in front of uncomfortable audiences. So they have that painful situation, painful presentation, and they feel ashamed and regretful. So in this video, you're going to find out exactly three ways to prepare for a successful presentation every single time. Because the reality is that most people don't know about these three things. They don't know about these three ways. And because of that, they suffer, they struggle, they fail to make that impact, impression, and influence, right? And as a result, they stay stuck in their career, they don't grow in their uh, presentations, and they don't get the credit. And you are going to get the credit. So here are the three ways. Number one, you must have audience preparation. Audience preparation. Here's the thing. Presenting without your audience is like trying to sell chicken burger to vegetarians. <laughs> like an average expert will just bung up points before a presentation. But the confident expert, experts who are confident about their value, their knowledge, their experience, about speaking and about their own charisma, they really take the time to understand the audience before sharing the views, ideas, concepts, or information. So here's the question. Do you know the end result your audience is looking to have from your presentation? Or are you just showing up to just give them information? Do you know your audience's thought process and expectations? Or you're just going there just to vomit information? Are you clear about your audience perception about you? Or you are talking without understanding how you are positioned? That's very important, audience preparation. The second is what I call message preparation. Okay, if you're taking notes, write this down, message preparation. Um, if you read the book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey, he says, begin with the end in mind. All right, begin with the end in mind. Look, you can give any amount of information. You can make a, make a lot of gestures. You can say a lot of things. You can say a lot of funny things. But at the end of the day, if your message does not get delivered, the presentation fails, right? It's kind of like impressing a lady, taking her to a disco, and then giving her the wrong message. <laughs> She'll never meet you again. So in the same manner, when you're speaking to an audience, are you giving them the right message? Whatever you have in your mind and heart about expressing yourself, is that being transferred to the audience 100% clearly? Or are you just diluting that message? Don't dilute your message because make sure you are clear about the crystal clear message that you are trying to amplify to your audience so that they get it. Otherwise, they forget it. And the third kind of preparation is what I call mindset preparation. Now, it's a, it's a huge topic. You know, you're not going to uh, do some mental preparation only. Um, it, it's all, all about getting into that high peak state so that confidence is the new normal for you. You don't have to force it. It flows automatically to you. Now, there is a seven-step formula that I take my clients through 
but forget about that for now. Uh, make sure you do some mindset preparation. It can be some positive power talk to uh, pump yourself prep talk kind of thing or maybe it's uh, it's like a visualization when you visualize you close your eyes uh, 10 minutes before a presentation and you visualize that you're giving a good presentation i can tell you it boosts your confidence a lot it can also be a little bit of muscle relaxation and yes you do not need somebody else to relax your muscles mm -mm -mm. you can do it on your own and i have a specific idea uh, that i shared in my program the confident expert life experience but anything that works for you and once you use this information in the right manner I can tell you once you have the right audience preparation right once you have the right message preparation and once you have the right mindset preparation amazing things start to happen and here's why because confidence is not born I want you to write down write it down confidence is not born confidence is made and you can make that confidence for yourself you can make that confidence for anything that you want to do so if you are not a confident speaker it's not your fault it's just that nobody took the time to show you the right step-by-step -step formula and i want to show you that formula but uh, as you know my courses and programs are not for everybody so here's the next step for you if you have already not taken the confidence iq test i highly recommend you to go to confidenceiq.com that's confidenceiq.com go there and absolutely today right now go to confidenceiq.com and take the test to understand where you stand in your audience preparation where do you stand in your message preparation and are you doing the right mindset preparation and what's your current confidence iq score and once you know that um, definitely you'll be getting some tips and tools from me every single morning via email to help you boost your confidence and one day you are going to be ready you're going to be ready to apply all this information to improve and then you need my help you will want my help because you will want me to mentor you and step by step show you and guide you and make you a confident speaker that time whenever you are ready you can have a talk with one of my team members but i gotta tell you my programs are not for everybody it's an invitation only i do not work with everybody so make sure you go to confidenceiq.com now take the test which is free it's free to take the test um, get some information about yourself about your confidence level and it's going to be amazing for you i look forward to helping you my name is bishal sarkar always reminding you that confidence is not born confidence is made